revival of St Stephen Sondheim and George Firth's company is playing at Broadway in Chicago's Cadillac Palace Theater. The Tony Award winning show follows the story of Bobby celebrating her 35th birthday. Brittany Coleman is Bobby in company and joins us today. Thank you so much for coming out and stopping by to visit with us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. This is such a, I mean, it's such a classic show. I think mm -hmm. five Tony Awards, I think. Mm -hmm. Classic songs. It's got to be so much fun for you to be part of this. It really is. It's really special. I feel very privileged to be able to tour a Sondheim show. I mean, we've never really, this show has never really been on tour before since the 70s. Does that mean something special to a performer when they're doing a Sondheim show? It's, that is really a badge of honor, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's like the, uh, the Shakespeare of musical theater. Uh, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. Is there a special feeling? Is it the is it the reputation? Is it the, I think the, so. the songs itself? What, what is it about a Sondheim show? D, all of the above. I think uh, his relationship to text is really extraordinary and, and very different. So to be able to tackle a lot of the, the complex ideas that he can pack into one song is, is really incredible. Yeah, what can you tell us uh, about company for people who may not be familiar, uh, the little uh, yeah. you know, Cliff Notes version of the show. Absolutely. So company is about uh, Bobby on uh, her 35th birthday. And the reason it's special is because she is single and all of her friends are married and they all have very strong opinions about her being single and turning 35. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of a conceptual musical in which we sit with each couple separately and the only through line is Bobby and her thoughts and how she wraps her mind around the idea of being open to marriage. Yeah, so no pressure on you at all as a <laughs> performer. You, you must be on stage just about the whole time, right? It's, it's almost the entire time. I have about a two minute break. Yeah, wow. That's <laughs> it's amazing. quite the marathon. Wow, that is, that is quite a stretch. Mm -hmm. Now you're just coming off of uh, the touring company of Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. That had to be exciting. <laughs> it was wonderful. Well, what was that like? We're looking forward to seeing that here. It's incredible. Uh, they'll be here in a week or so. And um, I had a great time. I did the first eight months of the tour. And, and company called me right as we started Beetlejuice. And I went, uh-oh, OK. Well, hopefully I can make both work. Yeah. And I'm glad that it did. But Beetlejuice is fun. We've got the fans from the movie. We've got the fans from the, the Broadway show. And everyone is, is showing up. And it's lovely. Yeah. What's it like for a performer? Former to be in two pretty different kind of shows, uh, I would think. <laughs> Plus, not to mention, uh, you've been in Sunset Boulevard. You've been in much more traditional shows. Are there certain kind of shows that are more challenging, more fun for a performer? Oh, gosh. Well, yeah, Sondheim in general is definitely a challenge. Yeah. It's definitely a challenge. It's a marathon um, just to stay present for, for two and a half hours. Uh, and we get to sit with the audience and and think with them, whereas Beetlejuice is rapid fire, jokes after jokes after jokes, it never stops. Whereas company, we get to sit in some moments a little bit yeah. and audiences respond really differently, uh, especially in every city. So it's just, you gotta be flexible yeah. <laughs> with every show and it, being on tour. Is it more challenging being in a, say, a comedy as opposed to a more serious toned show? <laughs> I. I actually would think so. I was just having a conversation with someone on tour last night about how every city responds to jokes really differently. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you but know. But Chicago is the best, though, right? Oh, Chicago. Yeah, oh, we had our always. first show last night. It was amazing. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. So it's good to be here. Yeah. Well, you know, the, there's a reason why Mel Brooks brought the producers here before he took it to Broadway and mm -hmm. so many other shows come here because they, mm -hmm. they really respect uh, Chicago audiences with the show. Mm -hmm. Are people uh, coming back into theaters? That was such a concern after the yes. pandemic. It seems like each time I go, I'm seeing more and more people filling up the seats. Absolutely. I think this country is really hungry for theater again. To be able to share space and, and have this singular moment that is theater, we're craving it. And people are showing up, and it's been wonderful. Yeah, well, thank you for coming by today. Of course. Uh, enjoy your stay here in Chicago. You've come at the coldest time of year. Not quite the coldest, but <laughs> it's a challenging time of year. Company is at the Cadillac Palace Theater for a limited engagement. Now through November the 12th, visit broadwayinchicago.com to get all of the details. Brittany Coleman, have a great day today. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, well, I